Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're gonna go into a real cool thing. I want to start December with giving you guys a small little challenge but first we're gonna start by showing you guys the 10 most used blocks and the way I kind of came up with this list was by looking at tutorials out there, looking at scratch projects that people have. So I'll show you the 10 blocks and I want you guys to create a project with those 10 blocks. It doesn't have to be all crazy or anything, whatever you guys want. And then go ahead and link it below on the comments. Give me your link and I'll go check it out. And then we'll um, host the best one next week. So here we're going to go ahead and start with our 10 most used blocks from scratch. So obviously the most common one that everybody has to use is the flag. I mean, you can kind of get away without using it, depending on if you're using the spacebar, because there is one that you can use the spacebar. But this one is the most common, because you have to be able to start your game. This one, basically, what it does, it starts the game when you click the green flag on Scratch. This one here is our X and Y position. This one is most commonly used at the beginning to set where you want to put your character. But you can also use it throughout the game to kind of change the position of your character. And it just changes the X and Y of your sprite. It doesn't have to be your character, it can be any sprite on your screen. The move block. This move block is used to create the motion of moving your character. So that one is a pretty cool one that a lot of people use. These values you guys can change into whatever you want. It doesn't have to be what I have on, the, on this PowerPoint. It can be whatever value you want. And then this one, the famous forever loop. I feel like a lot of people use this forever loop because they have a lot of things that they want to keep going forever. So this one's a pretty good one. And basically what it does is whatever code you put in here is going to go on forever. Unless you have a specific event where it just exits or breaks out of that forever loop. But that's what it does. Forever is going to execute whatever's inside of it. And then we have the wait certain seconds. So here you can change that seconds to whatever you want. So basically, like it explains, it says it itself, it just, this block waits how many seconds you want, whatever you put here for some, and then it continues whatever, whatever code you continue putting down here. Really quickly, I've been putting up here where those blocks are in the specific scratch, because scratch has several categories. And this, this one specifically is in the looks category. So just for those of you that are new to Scratch. For those who are new to Scratch, I do have a lot of other tutorials you can start playing around with and kind of get yourself familiar with a lot of these blocks. I do have beginners tutorials. So that would be cool to check out for you guys. For this block, the show block, basically what it does, it shows something on the screen. So if you hit it, then you are able to show it by putting the show block. Okay, so then the next one will be the hidden block. So this one does the opposite of the show. It basically hides whatever sprite you put it on. And then the say hello for two seconds. The say hello for two seconds is just basically going to pop a little like bubble on the top of your character or sprite. And it'll say whatever you put here for the number of seconds. Now we have the play sound block, which is the uh, whatever music or a uh, sound you put here, it would play until it's done. And a quick uh, kind of bonus challenge is, for those of you who want to go ahead and add music to it or make your own sound, you guys are welcome to. So I want to see what you guys come up with. And then finally, a random. This, is a, this block here can be used in many multiple areas to create a a random count like it will randomly pick a number between the number that is here the first number to the second number it'll randomly pick a number and that will be the random number that would you be using for whatever value you're trying to change and that's it let's go ahead and see what i can come up with all right so first let me put the other list up so i can actually remember my list there So I'm going to try it really quickly, see what I come up with. And if you guys feel like you need to change something, you're welcome to. Just let me know 
kind of like a quick blurb on why you think that's the best way to what's your favorite block or something um and again uh you guys can use these blocks in any in any format you want it doesn't have to be in the specific order i put them on the powerpoint it can be whatever order you guys want oops wrong block i started already with the wrong block okay that's a forever and then let's see we have the weight i'm gonna put the weight here i'm just gonna take my blocks out and kind of put them on the side and you guys can go ahead and use the 10 blocks in as many times as you want in your program as long as you just use those 10 blocks and obviously if you change your block to something else uh, please let me know and Okay, so I got the looks, I got this guy, this guy, this one, this one, I need this guy. Nope, I don't want you to do it together, not yet. And then, let's see, I'm going through my PowerPoints to make sure I get the correct blocks out. One, two, okay, and then this guy. Two, four, six, eight, two, four, nine, nine. I'm missing one. What am I missing? I got that one. Oh, I got this. This one. This is the one I'm missing right here. All right. We're going to go ahead and say hello. We're going to show. We're going to wait. We're going to hide it. We're going to play some sound. I want my character to go. Let's see. Where do I want you? We're going to do that one. And then we're going to randomize the Y from, I don't know. See, like that. And then we're going to play. All right. Say what he does. It's a out of the blue kind of thing. Okay, it kind of spooked me out. Alright, so I want to make a little modification. I don't want that at the beginning. That X white thing. Because my, my random randomizer, randomizer is not even going to work. It doesn't matter. So we want it inside forever to be changing. Okay. So if you guys want to check how your Y is changing, you can see it right here. It doesn't even look like it's changing, but it probably is. Oh. And if you guys want, you can go ahead and add a backdrop to it just to make sure you can... There you go. So he is kind of moving. The Y position. Not by very much. So I'm going to change these values. Uh, let's go with 100. Maybe I can do negative 100 to 100. Let's try that. So he'll be moving like this instead of like this. And I'm not too sure why I did that, but let's go backwards. Leave our cat at zero. Okay, there. There we go. All right, I'm going to stop that. So that's a quick one. For you guys, uh, this is just a 10 block challenge. Go ahead and uh, try to use those 10 blocks and create something. You can start with what I did if you want. It's up to you. And uh, oh, let me explain to you the code really quickly. So basically, when the flag is clicked forever, I want the cat to be the X position to be random anywhere. And the Y position to always be zero. So it's always going to be at that zero right here. It will never, it will never move from this like s up or down. It will only move left and right. And then we want the cat to show, say hello. Uh, we want to wait a minute, a second and then hide the cat. Then play the meow sound and then move 10 steps. And that's it. So try that. See what it gives you and then share it with me. So 
I think something good to start with this for the month of December. Try your challenge. You are welcome to change the numbers, the words on this thing, the sound on it. If you guys feel like you need to change the block, go ahead and change it. Just uh, let me know that you guys changed it. And again, we'll uh, look at them and we'll show the five, I guess, most creative ones on, the, on our next on next week's video so thank you so much for joining us and uh don't forget to subscribe see you guys later bye